Greetings to all of our graduates from New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary and Level College. We're really sorry that we can't do a normal graduation ceremony this May due to COVID-19, but we are still so proud of you for the accomplishment that you've achieved this semester. It culminates a very long journey for you where you've been faithful, where you've sacrificed, where you poured your heart and soul into preparing to serve Jesus Christ. And now that you finish, we still want to celebrate you and honor you because you're about to step into the front lines, going into those places where there is darkness, going into those places where the gospel of Jesus Christ has not been adequately proclaimed, and going into contexts where you are going to have joys, but you are also going to face difficulties. In fact, in your ministry, you're going to face some things that I'm just going to tell you right now, you can't fix, that you yourself cannot overcome. But it's not your job to fix them necessarily. It is simply your job as you go now to be faithful to Jesus Christ and what he is calling you to do. Let me read just one passage of scripture to you very quickly. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 1 and verse number 2. The Apostle Paul says this, Let a man so consider us as servants of Christ and as stewards of the mysteries of God. And therefore it is required of servants that one be found faithful. That is your job now, to just be faithful to Christ. God's gonna give you responsibilities. God's gonna give you opportunities to proclaim. God's gonna give you opportunities to minister in his name. You are gonna be on the pinnacle of the great joys of serving Christ in so many occasions. But you're also gonna be in circumstances that are beyond you, that take you beyond yourself where you have to walk by faith and you have to depend on the power of Jesus Christ. And in those moments, I charge you to be faithful to him, to pursue him, and to remember who you are in Christ, who he's called you to be, what he's called you to do, and how he's called you to do it. Remember who we are as NOBTS and Level College. We prepare servants to walk with Christ, proclaim his truth, and fulfill his mission. There are four principles right there that I leave with you as you go now and you complete this degree. Number one, servanthood. As we've said to you before again and again and again, if you are anything as a follower of Jesus Christ, you are a servant. And remember that. Keep that posture. Take the towel in the basin every single day. Take it up and serve in the name of Jesus. And as you do that, continue to walk with him in devotion. Protect your walk with God now more than ever before. Because again, you go into darkness. And as you go, you need closeness with him. You need his power. You need his strength. So be a servant that walks with Christ. Remember always to proclaim his truth, that that's what we do. You're there to tell people about the saving grace of Jesus, to deliver to them the same message of hope that radically transformed you and your life. And as you do that, remember that always in everything, as long as God gives us breath on this life, in this life, that we are on mission for him to fulfill his mission. Graduates, we are so very proud of you. We love you, we're here for you, and we celebrate with you this day as we mark this milestone of you finishing your degree program, and we confer those degrees upon you. Again, I want to invite you back to our December graduation ceremonies. I hope that you'll be able to come back. We'll make ample space for everybody so that we can celebrate you then, that we can be with you then and rejoice with you then. But until then, please know that on this day, we're proud of you and we love you. God bless you. Be faithful. That's our job. God bless.